from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good evening. Hope you've had a nice day so far. Just want to remind you we have these winter storm warnings out here from Lassen County to Plumas County, as well as portions of Butte County, Tahoma County, and Shasta County. Do want to also keep in mind the fact that this Lassen County portion of it, that expires in four hours from this recording. So it's currently 6 at 10 p.m. This thing is going to expire. But these, the ones around the valley here, east of the valley, the mountains, eastern mountains down to Portola, that's going to stick until Tuesday. We also have this winter storm watch here in portions of Siskiyou County and Trinity County. Entirely possible that, that gets upgraded pending forecast data, so we'll have to watch that. But it's really no surprise that we have that winter storm warning out there lasting for the next few days because the next few days are going to stay unsettled across the North State. Now, maybe not quite as much as the last seven days, right? I don't think it's going to be a huge washout, but for tonight, well, of course, we keep those showers both in the snow and rain variety across the area. Widespread 40s for those of us who aren't in the freezing area, but for those of us who are, let me tell you, we are, right? We're going to be in the 30s here. Cooler than that, 20s out here in portions of Modoc County, Eastern Mountains, 395 corridor down to Quincy and Portola. And by the way, a few rumbles of thunder could remain possible. So it's one of those cool storm type of nights, right? But we still have some of that instability. So, you know, it's entirely possible, right? You don't need it to be 70 degrees for there to be a couple rumbles of thunder mixed in there. But as we head over the next several days, same situation, right? Now, as we head through tonight, looks like the showers become a little more isolated than anything else. But as we head through tomorrow, hey, they're back in a more scattered to somewhat widespread fashion. Notice the snow levels here. We're probably going to be talking 3,500 to 4,000 feet. And it's no surprise to see that we have those snow levels there given cause for concern, right? That's where the travel impacts are probably going to be, where these winter storm warnings are from Shasta County down to portions of Tahoma County and Butte County, as well as out there in Plumas County through the 70 corridor. So we might be talking chain requirements. We might be talking travel impacts out there, especially, and it's entirely possible up here in the I-5 corridor through southern Siskiyou County. We could talk that as well, but I think that's going to be a little bit less so, and we're starting to raise those snow levels a little bit over the next few days. But still, rain chances looking good here, especially along the coast. Check out that pretty decent stream of moisture in Humboldt County to Del Norte County. So yeah, rain, snow, everything in between, that's the story for the next several days here. And the valley here too, we're probably going to get some of those showers in a widespread fashion over the next, I'd say, 72 to 96 hours as well. So you're not left out of this either. It's a fairly uniform spread of precipitation. Now, that being said, as that stuff kind of spins itself to death by Tuesday evening and Wednesday, we clear out a little bit. So we're going to shape up for a little bit better conditions as we approach Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So if you were hoping for some better weather, luckily, I think we're going to get that out there towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That being said, there is a little bit of remnant moisture that might kind of filter up a couple stray sprinkles into the southern portions of the valley, but don't change your day plans there for Thursday. Not going to be a huge deal, but don't say I didn't warn you if you just see a couple of those here if you're driving out and about towards the end of the week. But by no means is that going to be very impactful. In fact, through the rest of the week, pretty much all of the precipitation we're going to get, both in rainfall and snow, is going to be over the next three days, really through about Tuesday. Here are your rainfall totals through Friday, so really this accounts for any possible precipitation. And we're talking, you know, maybe an inch or two more in Shasta County here. Notice from Redding to Red Bluff, you're probably talking half inch to an inch widespread there, even locally a little bit higher up there in the Redding neighborhoods out towards the east there. You might be talking an inch and a half, but check it out towards the 70 quarter. For those of us who get rain below 4,500 feet, we're gonna be talking two, three inches of rain, but of course several more inches of snow do look possible with those upper elevations. Del Norte County, two to three inches of rain out here. Humboldt County, pretty much all of us are gonna get one to two inches of rain locally higher at times. Southern portions of Siskiyou County as well, but then you get a little bit of that shadow effect out here in Modoc County and the Eastern Mountains towards Lassen County where you're talking, you know, 10th of an inch, quarter of an inch, maybe half of an inch, but really not nearly as much out that far east. All right, so let's break it down. Seven day outlook here on the coast. That's where, of course, as usual, the best chances for rain are new. A few rumbles of thunder still looking likely over the next couple of days. Head a little further inland, you hold those same chances, but we get back to the 60s by the end of the week. So there is a slow warming trend here as we head over the next several days. Trinity County and Weaverville, same story, some showers, mixed snow levels here as they're lower here through today and tomorrow, but they'll be increasing and mostly turning into rain in Weaverville over the next few days. Hey, mid-50s returning by the time we're heading through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so a little less cool 
than it has been over the last few days. So yeah, generally speaking, I do think there's sort of a small warming trend. We're not going to be warm by any stretch of the imagination, but we are upwards a little bit in this sense. Mount Shasta City, you can kind of see here what I'm talking about when I say those snow levels are increasing. We're going to go from about 3,500 feet here through tomorrow up to about 4,500 to 5,000 feet Monday and into Tuesday. So we'll see, you know, that sort of uh, mixed sort of precipitation pending the temperatures at any given time here. But notice those 30s and 40s really stick around here. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we clear out. Temperatures stick around in the 40s. Alturas and Modoc County, you know, chances are there, but I really don't think it's going to be quite as significant. So we'll be watching that. Temperatures stick Upper 30s, lower 40s, not as much variability out there. Susanville is the same story. Snow levels actually up there about 4,500 to 5,000 feet this far east with widespread lower 40s through Thanksgiving and into Black Friday. Here in Redding, it's the same story, and I think a lot of the valley is going to have a very similar situation as to this whole uh, lake head down to Redding area, right? We're going to have showers for the next three days, so, you know, kind of unsettled. We've been talking about that. Some of us in the valley are probably going to pick up a decent more clip of rain. Not a lot, but... You know, a few inches at times further east, maybe an inch or so from Lakehead to Red Bluff, that corridor of the valley. Yeah, that's entirely reasonable to expect. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, though, as we approach holidays, thank goodness, finally shaping up. Just a little bit better. Temperatures rising by about 5 to 7 degrees with 60s returning by Black Friday.